Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will learn how we can send data from parent component to child component. And whenever you will work on complex project or you can say that uh, large scale of project, that time there is 99% chances that you will get a situation where you have to pass data from parent component to child component. That's why this topic is really important for everyone. So let's start with the points of this video. First of all, we will learn how we can create a child component. After that, uh, we will use child component in our any other component and that will be our parent component. After that, we will send data from parent component to child and uh, we will use this data in our child component and we will display, obviously we will display in the data our child component. And after that, we will create a button and we will update that data on button click also. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions all right so let's start with the first point and uh, create a child component so is there something special to create a child component no just simply create a component and use it as a child so let's see how we can create it ng g4 generate c4 component and let's put our component name and let's be very specific and put the name of that component is child so that you can just clearly see this is our child component and whenever we will create it, it will create four file and update of one file, which is app.module.ts. And here you will find that this component is automatically registered in declaration. Great. So after that, we can close our uh, terminal. We don't need it. And let's use this child component in app.component.html. For that, let's simply put here app child. And let's see this is visible or not on our screen. This is visible. But text is a uh, really small, so let's en enlarge it so that we can simply use here h1 tag or h2 tag. Like let's say, let's simply use here h2 tag. And now you will find that this is more clear to us. Great. Now let's go with the next step. Close this child and let's try to pass some data from parent component to child component, which is our parent component app, and which is our child component with the name of child also so let's simply create on click on app.component.ts and define a property so let's say my property name is data and its value is let's say 10 great and now let's pass this value to our child component how we can pass it just like uh, you can say that this is a parameter or you can say that this is a props if you are related to the uh, react js background right so let's put here any our uh, the parameter name item and here we can pass data and you keep in mind you have to pass the, this data in the uh, double quotes or single quotes right and uh, if you are just passing the string then you have to use a double quotes and then again single quotes but this is a property so we can just simply pass it like this now you will find that there is an error you can see that reason is because we just send the data from parent component but this is not handled in child component so let's see how we can handle it just go to the uh, child.component.ts file import here input decorator and let's use it how we can use it let's say it's just used with the at the rate input and this is like a function and put here our uh, props name which is item how do i get that this is the item because we just used here item so if i just take here uh, let's say apple then we have to use here apple right so let's just uh, undo it with the item name because this is more appropriate name and we can define any uh, default values let's say zero so now you will find that there is a no error everything is working fine so now what we can do here in our uh, child.component.ts let's use here item and remove this text double quotes in interpolation just put here item and you will find that this is clearly visible to us so now if i am just sending data uh, from uh, 10 to 5 then you will find that this is visible 5 here in child okay so now just go with the next level and uh, let's create a button on that button we want to change this child component value so how we can do it so for that we have to create a function so let's create it 
in our parent component uh, and we have to make a element also button also so let's make a button just put here something let's say update child component or something and let's uh, call a function on click and here we can put name let's say update data or something and uh, now let's define we are just calling this function from here and now, now let's define it app.component.ts like this and here what we can do here so that we can just get any random value we can just simply put here this dot data equal to math dot random right and now you will find that because this data is we basically are just sending to child component so it will be automatically update whenever we will click on it now you can see that this is working fine but this value is uh, not actually uh, fine because we are just just showing here uh, 0 0.69 something or this so let's make it without decimal uh, so just go again in our child dot component and simply put here math dot floor it will remove the decimal point after that let's multiply it by 10 because by default math dot random will generate the point uh, and some values and now it will be generate between 1 to 9 by default value is 5 now you can see that we can just change them and we can getting it values Great. So this is the way that how we can send the data from parent component to child component. And at the last, we can discuss some interview question. First question is from parent component, can we call multiple components and we can send the data? Definitely. So let's say if you have a app underscore user, app underscore member, something, then still it will work. But for a moment, I am just copying the app dot child data. And you will find that after using the two place, it will still working fine second question can we send uh, the two values in uh, one component like item one and item two definitely this is also possible and third question is can we uh, just make a, a nested child component yes this is also possible all right so thank you for watching this video if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel